All right, hey guys, Jason here, Samco Workshop. Today we're gonna take a quick second and we're gonna talk about tires. We are here at a Ford dealer and uh, we are in Statesboro, Georgia and we got a good variety here. A lot of these are used and that's okay, but I wanna talk to the difference about, uh, especially on your trucks, passenger tires that come stock, the stock tires that are on them. Sorry, you got big trucks going by. But this, you know, difference in tires, okay, is kind of what we're looking at, okay? This is an all-terrain tire here on my uh, 4Runner. This is our 4Runner. Tina's in there chilling for a second. We're getting ready to go eat lunch. But uh, Sunday, and I like the fact that there's, I'm not being hounded by people. So I like coming to the dealerships on Sunday to show some of this stuff. But uh, here's a good Falcon Wild Peak AT tire. I've done reviews on it. I've shown you I love it. It's my favorite tire out there. But you'll notice on here that you got a variety going on with the tread patterns. You got bigger lugs on the outside with big, the lug size doesn't matter as much as the gap in between them, okay? The gap in between here and the size of that, how wide that gets and how tall these lugs are is where it matters. And then all these little edges in here are designed to basically grit traction. The thing you have to understand is that a tire on road gets traction from surface area. A tire off road gets traction from edge contact. Look at all the edges we have in here, okay? You can see edges everywhere to grab. These sipings are for protection or for traction when you're on wet pavement. That's what all that stuff is for, okay? But all these edges are what actually bite and do the work that you got on here. That's what we're after. Um, but there's also a fine line between having uh, enough edge to actually bite, but also having enough clearance for mud and things like that. So I'm gonna show you some differences here and put it into perspective. Then there's also the concept of, uh, uh, you know, durometer too, and that's how stiff and how strong, how, how, how hard that rubber is and how long it lasts or how long it wears. So there's a lot of things that come into play the tire manufacturer put together. Look at this Bronco right here, okay, it's Badlands Edition. Okay, and uh, here we'll show the spare because it's a spare, but see how this tire here, uh, this is, what is this? This is a Goodyear, uh, what do we got? This Territory MT, so it's a mud tire, but see how big these gaps are that are on here? All right, see how huge all of these open areas are and how they're all angled like this. This is designed to get traction in mud, okay? Deep mud and sand and things like that and actually move big chunks of it. And it, the bigger spacing helps clear that stuff out. Now mud tires will also wear down because they are a, a softer durometer. Look at, I can, look at this lug, okay? See this, how I can just squish that together? They're very, very soft and uh, they're that way on purpose so they can climb over rocks these are great for getting up and down rocks they got traction on everything you want off road and they do it very well um, and they need to be soft to make that happen that also means they wear out much quicker it's just part of the game M uh, mud terrains wear out much faster but you get that traction this is also an lt tire which means it's probably 10 ply so it's got a very stiff sidewall in there i i love t uh, lt tires uh I, you know rather than passenger tires but every little thing that's on here is on here for on purpose uh, to give you that even the side lug pattern right here this isn't decoration it's on here this is for when you get some when you're on the road it's up here but when you get off road it sinks into there but you also get into soft sand snow mud things like that each one of these are actually a traction aid these are lugs like you have up here but on the side of the tire uh, for when a tire sinks in to give you that traction um, so there's a lot to take away from from tire design let's look around here and see like i said it's uh, lots loaded with um and again because we are in georgia we have a lot of people that you know we got a lot of mud here and it's peanut butter mud and it's nasty and a lot of guys run mud tires here the downside to a mud tire is they don't last long they vibrate a lot they make a lot of road noise uh they you know you feel it through the steering wheel like here's a set of mud terrains right on here but you can see these okay these are toyo mts okay open countries toyo makes incredible tires and these are this is a used truck but look at the space on these. Look at how these lugs are spaced out so far, okay? That's on purpose. Again, now all the edges are designed to work and they've done testing on that and found that this is what's best. The siping is more for on-road stuff, but the the spacing in here is designed to get mud to go. But again, very soft lug tire. Um, you can actually move those lugs and feel them. And it's because it has to be in order to get the off-road performance of you want uh, that you want out of total mud terrain. So things that you gotta take into consideration um, on there, they're gonna wear down quicker 
they're going to be louder on the road more vibration through the steering wheel you're going to get that whoom, 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 when you go down the road and uh they they don't last as long but they perform off-road really good now if we look at a passenger tire like on this one this is a passenger tire okay these are designed for on-road use Notice you have the water shedding capabilities in here. Everything is about shedding water and keeping it perf performing on the road. You have edge, but it's very small edge because of the fact that it's on the road. Uh, it wants surface area. Look at the surface area that comes in contact with the road on this. First, the it, at any given time you might have, you know, you you might have this little strip so you got this piece this piece th in these corners that are actually touching the road where on this you have this whole thing touching the road completely um you will also notice the sidewall here so you can see how that sits okay and it's all on a tread this one they bow out you you can see that it barely i mean it, it rolls right around so that you get full tread factor on them so uh a passenger tire like this is designed for the road Okay, and, and we know that. And they're designed to keep you, give you good braking, good stopping power, good, see how stiff that is? I can't move these lugs. See how they, they don't budge at all. Okay, you can't even flex them. It's because they are a harder durometer, meant to last longer, to handle being on the road, to shed water, to shed snow, to give you traction on dry pavement. Designed to give you traction in the mud. Okay, now it's starting to rain a little bit, so we're gonna move a little quicker here. But now if we look at a, uh, Let's go back over here. Well, here's another one right here. Okay, this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, Yokohama G Lander AT. This is an all-terrain tire right here. Okay, this is an extreme one. This is almost a mud tire, very far from a passenger tire, almost a mud tire. But again, harder durometer. You can see I can barely flex those, but meant to last longer. And the spacing is more of a flat surface, so you're getting less road noise. All these things are tested when they do that. Okay, you got good side lug on here for off-road use. This is a happy medium between something like this, which is a passenger rated tire, and this, which is a full mud tire. Again, this is used, but uh, on a used truck. But you can see the difference. Look at the, the how opened everything up is on here and how uh, spaced out these lugs are. First a passenger tire, first an all-terrain tire. Okay, now an all-terrain just bridges that gap between here. Now these are probably LTs too, right? Let's see here. 35, 12, 50 LT, it is an LT. See, it says LT right here. If it says LT on there, then you know that it's a uh, uh, light truck tire, meaning it's gonna be somewhere in the eight or 10 ply range. Much stiffer sidewall, much more strength and durability to it. Harder to puncture. Everything about it is so much better. So I prefer, now they're a little heavier, but I prefer them. But this tire right here bridges that gap between this and that almost perfectly now if all you do is run off-road non-stop and in fields and things like this these are great tires they just uh, on the road they just make a lot of noise they vibrate a lot and they wear out quick these are fantastic on the road they're dead quiet make no noise whatsoever they're comfortable no vibration they work fantastic take this off-road and your truck dies and what i mean by that is it becomes nothing you have zero traction off-road all of this will clog full of dirt or mud in here and it will jam full and this whole tire becomes a complete slick okay there's no clean out version on this where this these chunks of mud that get inside of here are so big and heavy that as soon as you roll they get thrown out okay because they have enough weight and mass to the clumped up mud to be able to come out almost like a whole rock is so these clear themselves out of mud very well this jams full of mud and packs in done and you've got a slick tire that now is worthless so that's again there's a reason for all this stuff now when it comes to the the all-terrain you get this very happy medium between those two where you still get good mud clear out okay you get good edge traction everywhere you get the good lug height uh you get the good spacing and you're going to still be pretty quiet again look at the contact patch of this on the road so it's going to be quiet because you're you got multiple points touching at once just like you do on this passenger tire whereas on this one 
you're going to get a lot of that you know chunking and that's why they do these through the middle on this okay see how these are big is wide space but in the middle they're tighter and in here like this this is designed for you going down the road to have most of your contact on here and make it try this is their attempt to try and make it roadworthy and quiet and they do a good job okay just things that you need to pay, take into consideration when you're thinking about the tire options that you are or are not interested in here is another bridgestone here's a another all-terrain tire but you can see this one uh puts more of the emphasis on on road okay you have the edging but you got a good clear out through here and you got all these little edges through here that are going to help you but it's a much tighter pattern to this and much simpler these channels like i said are for clear out and for water you know to make sure you don't end up hydroplaning and to shed water out of there um like passenger tires are but this is another one very slight little side lugs not a ton but this is an all-terrain it's going to be much better on the road versus in the woods where this is an all-terrain it's going to be much better in the woods than on the road more aggressive okay they're both all-terrain tires this is probably passenger rated i don't think this is going to be no this is an lt also so that is a light truck so it's 10 ply eight, eight or 10 ply tire as well too but it is more geared towards road use than this one is more geared towards off-road use but they both are all-terrain tires so you can see the value in those here's another one here's a wild peak at same thing i got on the, the forerunner over there right here it is a perfect combination in my opinion of um layout for on-road use yet you get really good use um off-road and clear out and uh edge design and everything about it that's why it's one of my favorite tires and the durometer of this look at this Okay, it's it's stiff enough that I can't really do it. You know, it's got the longevity of this tire. This tire has got a lot of longevity to it, and it will last for a long time. Matter of fact, I've proven it and shown you another on my F-150s. I would get 80,000 miles on them and still have 20% tread life left. So these things are incredible tires. My absolute favorite. Um, and this is going to be uh, LT2. See right here, LT285, 718. But I uh, love the Falcon Wild Peaks. In my opinion, you get very little road noise you get very little vibration, you get fantastic um, on-road performance, and you get incredible off-road performance. It is the perfect combination tire. Um, again, where this one is gonna be geared, it's all terrain, but geared more towards road, this one is geared towards a 50-50 kind of mix. So you gotta find that sweet spot that's gonna work for you and what you're looking for. See what I mean? Here we go, here's a here's a open co Toyo Open Country, um, but you can see how, look how wore down this is already, okay? It's, again, super soft around, I mean, they're designed for um, use off-road and, and the more they go that way, the you know, the more they wear out. Um, look at here, another LT tire, more on-road. Now this is an all-terrain, but it is designed, it's a Wrangler, but again, Again, you can see by this design in a tight lug pattern designed for the road um, so just a little something to think about here uh, it's got well look at this big old rig here this is a big old beast right here look at this and he's got on here too he's got uh, uh, mud terrains on here or, uh, yeah these are ridge grapplers these are uh, LT tire these are niddle ridge grapplers and these uh you know but these are actually an all terrain not a uh, not an MT not a mud terrain but you can see how that pattern gives you that full capability on the road but also big enough in, to clear out mud enough edge to be able to give you the contact works really good good side lug look at the depth of those side lugs Okay, and I don't I don't like niddle. I, I've never been a niddle fan at all. Niddles are very, very soft. Again, they work incredible off-road, but they are, look at that. They are so soft, they wear out so fast. Um, again, for off-road use only, they're fantastic, but when you combine on and off-road, I am not a fan of them myself personally. Um, I've only had two sets of niddles, but never liked them. Um, but uh, the, the uh, Falcon Wild Peaks, you know, absolutely incredible. Where did we just see those? Right here best tire i've ever seen in my life that gives you the best combination of both on road and off road just phenomenal and they come with good deep tread depth and uh so i think that kind of covers all of the ones that we're seeing on here to show you comparisons but you can see even cars okay they're designed for that road tire see that center that is all, all that siping which is all the little slits okay and the channels and uh, the hard flat surface that is all designed to keep you safe on the road same thing here all designed to keep you safe on the road all right but when you want that off-road stuff you need that that 
that fine line in there of uh sorry it's i'm sweating it's hot it's 94 degrees out here but you want that capability here's those wild peaks see what i mean how you got that good clearance of mud you know you can get the mud out of there you got the good perfect combination for on road like i said super stiff durometer which means they're going to last long but it does mean that they're they're not going to be as sticky in the rocks off road but everything is a trade-off there is no perfect tire you cannot get a mud terrain tire that's going to last you for fifty thousand miles you just can't do it but you also can't get an all-terrain um, tire that's going to run off-road and stick and bite is good in rocks and slippery stuff and uh, in the mud like a mud tire is you can't you know there is no perfect combination um, so companies try I really like these a lot I'm really impressed with these uh, territory MTs um, these might be something but again I just know that this tire is not going to make it 40,000 miles Okay, it's just not gonna there's gonna be wore down to next to nothing um, because it's an M a mud terrain tire people want that for the use and capability you have to find that balance of what's going to be best for you for me it's a uh, falcon wild peak or the goodyear ultra terrains they are a happy mix of off-road capability on-road durability um, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for so just a little pointer on what works and what tires why they are like they are sorry about their radio they're kind of blaring it out there but um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.